of the back end of a 300 TD wagon. This is a W123 chassis, and you can see the fuel tank here. And one of the problems with running a single tank SVO, or straight vegetable oil system, in a station wagon is right here. It has such a small fuel tank outlet, it's very hard to get the fuel or the waste vegetable oil to flow out of this hole up to the engine. In sedans, I can enlarge the outlet because it's located up higher, but in the wagon, you know, there's really no way to, without removing the tank and putting a great big fitting in. So what I decided to do was to come up with a heated sump that would heat the fuel right when it comes out of the tank. And then of course, with all my SVO single tank systems, I really believe in having a fuel pump back here to help you push the vegetable oil up to the engine. Let me show you the solution I came up with years ago, and that was to create a cast iron sump like this that is heated by a glow plug. See, there's the glow plug. Here's a thermostat which will shut off the glow plug when it gets too hot. But look, here's where the fuel comes out right here. I got about a two or three inch hose from the tank on the wagon. It goes right into this end of this cast iron sump and it's heated. Heated along this side here and then it exits at the top of the sump and goes into this electric fuel pump. And this electric fuel pump will then push the fuel up to the engine. Because I've said this before and I'll say it again, if you're going to run straight vegetable oil, single tank system, and an old Mercedes diesel, one of the best things you can do is to add a fuel pump at the back end because the engine driven lift pump just doesn't have enough ump to suck all that thick fuel up to the engine compartment. So now let me show you how I mount this up in a 300 TD wagon. So these are the two right angle brackets. I amount to this aluminum plate that bowled up into a member there on the subframe. And this is a splash guard to keep, you know, junk and road debris off this system. But this is how it bolts up. I won't be able to completely bolt it up because the hose is in the way, but it goes right up in here like this. And you can see right here where the inlet to the sump pump is. I only need about two or three inches of hose. And if you get in a situation where you have such extremely cold weather that your straight vegetable oil starts to congeal, then I recommend you add about 20% diesel fuel to the vegetable oil. And that will allow the fuel to flow out and get into this heated sump during those cold weather periods. So if you install something like this, you will need to run electrical wire back here to heat the sump pump glow plug and you'll need electrical wire back here to run the electric fuel pump and that is controlled by a switch panel on the dash. So that's how I used to do the SVO conversions in the 300 TD wagons.